Welcome to the TBC Desktop video series. This video will introduce you to creating simple surfaces inside of TBC Desktop. Let's start by putting the cursor over the Task Manager. And I want to open the Advanced Learning Guide found in the Getting Started section. I've highlighted a chapter in the Advanced Learning Guide called Simple Surfaces. This chapter walks you step by step through creating a uh, simple surface inside of TPC Desktop. Notice as I move the cursor down here that Traverse PC provides a file called Learn Contours TRV. We're going to open that file in just a moment. So I want you to write down page 51, Advanced Learning Guide. And when you're through watching this video, you can open this learning guide and do these same steps uh, on your own. Let's come back to the program now, open the Task Manager, and go to Sample Surveys. Here's the Learn Contours file. We'll double click it and open it. And Traverse PC will open the survey and display the most recent drawing. Let's put the cursor over the Traverse Manager and talk about this survey just for a moment. This is a real simple example. It contains shots on a three inch minus rock pile. So if I put the cursor over existing boundary, right click and tell Traverse PC that I want to delineate that traverse in the drawing, we can see that this traverse is the boundary. If I left click the topo traverse, I can see that here are the topo shots. I'll turn off the delineation now. I want you to notice that in the drawing, the topo shots are labeled T1, T2, T3. There's nothing special about those point labels. We've just identified the shots that are just topo shots by including the letter T in their point label. I'm going to start by renaming this traverse to something different. I want to say this is a three inch minus pile. Okay, And let's go ahead and change that name. The next thing I want to do, and let's bring that Traverse Manager back up here, is to right click that Traverse name and tell Traverse PC I want to create a surface for the selected Traverse. There are lots of ways of creating surfaces inside of Traverse PC. And I'll talk to you about the advantage of this, of this particular method using a Traverse to begin with. So let's select this command. Traverse PC opens the Surface Settings dialog box. And I'm just going to move it off here to the side so we can um, see both the surface and the dialog box at the same time. I want to talk to you then about three things that happened when we told Traverse PC that we wanted to create a surface from a Traverse. Notice the surface name, three inch minus pile. Traverse PC um, got that name from the name of the traverse that we used. So I know that this surface is related somehow to that traverse. The second thing it did, I'm going to come over here to the mode toolbar in the drawing view and turn, click on the T. Traverse PC designated all those shots in that traverse as topo shots. So I just told Traverse PC that I want to highlight the topo shots. Um, in Traverse PC, one of the rules or the pieces involved in surfaces is that only points that are designated topo shots are can ever be included in a surface. So when I told Traverse PC I wanted to create a surface out of this Traverse, Traverse PC made sure that all the points in that Traverse were topo points. And it indicates that by the yellow highlights here. The third thing that happened if we come back to the surface dialog box is that Traverse PC set the source for us. It said we're going to only include in this surface the topo points in this Traverse three inch minus pile. So it set the name for us, it designated the traverse points as topo shots, and it designated the source or chose the source for this surface. The final step to create this surface then is to tell Traverse PC that we want to use that existing boundary as the border for the surface and hit apply. Now some of you are, are saying, wow, can surfaces really be that simple inside of Traverse PC? And the answer is yes, they should be. Uh, Occlosures should be simple. Kogo should be simple. Surfaces should be simple as well, and they are. Of course, there are lots of advanced things you can do with surfaces, but creating a simple surface like this should be real simple for you as the user. So once I've created my surface, what if I want to make changes to it? I want to edit the surface. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to click on the Advanced tab and tell Traverse PC to turn off Manual Recompute. In other words, as I make changes in the surface, I want them to show up automatically. Later on, when I've edited the surface and it looks right, I can turn manual recompute back on and it'll make the drawing regens a lot faster for me. 
So let's come back to our surface now. And I'm going to put the cursor over the T3 shot. I'm going to right click and tell Traverse PC that I want to turn the topo designation off. I want you to watch the surface change now as I tell Traverse PC that I'm going to turn off the topo designation of T3. Let's left click that now. Do you see how the surface updates itself automatically because I turned the manual recompute setting off? Let's come back down to T3 and let's change that to topo on. Again, the surface updates automatically. There are lots of ways to change the topo designation of points, but I wanted you to see this interactive method of actually selecting the point in the drawing because it's easy to understand then what happens when the topo shots are designated on or off. Another thing you might want to do is edit break lines inside of the surface. So I'm going to put the cursor over one of the contour lines. I'm going to right click and choose surface tools, edit break lines. Traverse PC asked me if I'd like to recompute the surface as I edit, and I'm going to say yes. Notice that it has drawn the tin lines for me. Do you see the gray lines here between points? We're going to see these tin lines change as I insert break lines into the traverse. If I look at the bottom of the screen, it tells me to left click point symbols or labels for the points I want to use as break lines. So I'm going to put the cursor over the T2 label and left click, then bring the cursor over the T4 label and left click. Watch as I do this. Do you see how the break lines in change the shape of the triangles? Let's come down now to T9, continuing our break line. And again they change. When I'm done, I'm going to right click. So I've just added two break lines to this surface and the surface redrew itself automatically for me. Let's take a look at those break lines back in the contour dialog by left clicking the break, break lines tab. Do you see here's T2 to T4 and T4 to T9. Look at this option in the upper right. Include break lines in surface is currently checked. Watch the surface as I uncheck this box and apply. Do you see how I can take a look at the surface without the break lines? Let's turn this setting back on and choose apply again and I reapply those break line settings. So I can make a decision as to whether or not those break lines have actually improved the uh, shape of the surface or not. I can also come in and edit individual break lines um, and you'll find there are lots of ways to edit break lines inside of surfaces in Traverse PC. So now that we've edited the surface and we have what we want, let's um, tell Traverse PC how we want to draw the surface. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the tin line and tell Traverse PC I'm done drawing those break lines. So if I choose apply now, those break lines and the tin lines are gone. Now let's come over and click on the contours tab. Here are all the settings for drawing these contours. Look at in the middle of the dialog in the minor contours section. Let's tell Traverse PC we don't want to draw those contours and click apply. Do you see how the drawing just includes major contours now? Let's come back and turn those minor contours on. And again, let's apply that. And once again, the minor contours are drawn. So I'm going to use this contours tab to set contour intervals, colors, labels, those sorts of things. Uh, final two things I'd like to do with this, um, with these settings are to come in and actually label the major contours and tell Traverse PC I want to smooth the contours. Let's apply those two settings now. And I can see that Traverse PC has smoothed the contours and added labels to the major contour lines. At this point now I also might want to come back to my drawing and tell Traverse PC I no longer need to designate the topo points and maybe I want to come back to my traverse and uncheck or untag those topo points so that all I see now is just the surface itself. Um, let's do two things as we wrap this up that are just kind of fun things to do. Let's come back to the surface dialog box and click on the volumes tab. I've selected here a volume option that says to border. I want Traverse PC to compute the volume of the stockpile just down to the border surface or the surface created by the by the border itself. Let's come down and choose the compute button and Traverse PC tells me exactly uh, how many cubic yards of uh, 3 inch minus rock I have in this pile. The next thing I'd like to do is click on the slope tab. I'd like to tell Traverse PC that I'd like to shade in some of these slope areas. So I'm going to choose just a little bit denser shading than the 20%. Again, now Traverse PC adds up all the areas that are within the 0 to 15% slope and reports that area for me. 
It adds up all the areas between the 15 and 30 percent slope and adds those areas for me. Uh, I'm going to tell Traverse PC that I want to include the shading in the drawing. And when I apply that, Traverse PC shades in the drawing for me. Now there are lots more things we can do with surfaces, um, but we want to show you in this video how easy and simple it is uh, to create a surface within TPC Desktop.